back in the second part of the Elasticsearch series. So before we go ahead, I want to mention that I've post up the uh, the movie DB dump uh, on my Dropbox, and I've posted a link in the description in the previous episode, the previous episode which is one point five. Uh, so you all can download that uh, and uh, basically import that into your local database so you have something to work off. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to actually do the import process. Uh, so you need to be in the terminal and I have my file downloaded right here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, into PSQL uh, and essentially just create a new database. So create database movie db screencast uh, call it whatever you want it just needs to reflect the application configuration in your database.yaml file all right so here we go uh, i've created the database and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to quit out from psql and run pg restore and i've got the command on from the heroku page right over here verbose clean no acl no owner H for uh, host, and we're going to use localhost, obviously. U is uh, my user that I've set with my password. You will, might have different, uh, you obviously will have a different username, so be wary of that. Um, then I'm going to do movie db screencast, and I'm going to type in the name of my file, which is movie db development dot dump. So what that's going to do is it's going to run the import process. Uh, it's going to you know get all that data into the data into your database, and um, it should work just fine. Um, if you have any issues, please let me know in the comments, and uh, I will try and help you out. So I'm just going to let that run, and uh, yeah, then we're going to hop back into code. So let's hop into code. Okay, so uh, before I talk about mappings over here and how we're gonna leverage that and use that in our application, I wanna talk a little bit about this part over here because I kind of just glazed over it very quickly in the previous video. So what this is, is it's, um, it's the code that will allow me to add relationships and data very quickly to my movie model. Uh, so essentially, if you take a look at this code, it's just saying I'm, I'm, I have a method here, which is add many. And, uh, you know, I can add many genres, add many crews or whatever it is that I want to add. And essentially what it's going to do is it's going to make sure that everything I add is like correctly using the relationship from active record. So, for example, if you look over here, I'm just calling a send. And what this code translate to is imagine we're passing in genres. So over here we have genre. I'm doing a down case and then I'm doing plural pluralize. So essentially uh, it's going to look something like this. So imagine this, we're calling add many is an ins instance method, right? So we're doing movie dot uh, sorry, send. And then we're doing, um, you know, genre equals, right? And then I'm passing in the actual data uh, over here. Uh, so essentially that line translates to something like this equals and then I'm passing the data over here. So that's what that does. Um, and basically over here, uh, it's the same thing. We're taking the word genre here and all we're doing is classify and constantize, which does this. Um, so I wanted it to make uh, work for whether I have a crew or a genre. So that's why I have to use something like this. So what this is going to do is it's going to add all the relations for me. And I use this in my import script. So if you take a look over here, add many right over here. Um, and uh, I wrote it planning to use it for the crew as well, but I ended up just not using it um, because I wanted to create it through the role uh, model instead. Uh, either way. Um, so this works and basically um, it allows us to import very quickly all kinds of stuff. Uh, and I can add a relation into here and uh, it'll work with that as well. Like if I have tags or anything else extra outside of this. Uh, this is just a class uh, error class to handle any kind of error that, um, you know, that I didn't take care of, I guess. So if I have a, you know, 
a, a relationship in here that I didn't define to use with this method, uh, it's it's going to give me an error that says that the relationship type doesn't exist. Uh, that's probably bad wording for that error. But anyway, so um, let's get into the crux of it, which is the mapping. And that's all you've been waiting for. So over here, we've got the mapping. And essentially, this is um, the mapping we're going to use in our Elasticsearch uh, document store. So the ID is just basically the ID, the primary key that's coming from PostgreSQL. Um, and we're not going to analyze that. Uh, so, you know, it's just to make sure that we have an index so we can reference it when we look at the data, but we don't need to search with it, uh, if you know what I mean. So then there's the index, uh, the name and synopsis, which is just going to be uh, the standard data type that comes from, um, you know, from uh, PostgreSQL. And uh, I have all the columns I want to index here. Uh, and I also have them over here. Uh, and uh, if I want to index relationships, I have to use this thing here, which is include. And in this case, I want to include the ID and the name of the cruise uh, and the genres. I don't have to use the ID. I can remove that. But in this case, I'm just going to add it just so I can have something to show you guys. So you can define the fields of you know the rela relationship model that you want to include in here. Um, so let's take a look at what this does in our uh, in our index. So I've got the Elasticsearch head open over here. If you don't have Elasticsearch head, take a look at the first part. I explained to you how to set up all that up and how to use that. Okay, so if I open this up here, you'll see that we have all the fields over here, including the genres. So let me open a better one here. I'm going to close that out. All right, so take a look at this. So we have the review, which is a type of a float, and then I have year here. So in my database, I store the year as an integer um, because, you know, it's just numbers. Um, then I have the country, and then I have the synopsis and the name of the movie. And uh, over here, I've got, as we have set in our mapping, uh, we've got uh, the crew. So I have the ID of the crew and the name of the crew over here. Um, the reason why I'm indexing the ID as well is later on we may use this uh, for some facets. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to go into the details. But let's just say that it's a good idea to you know have something like this in your, in your document store in Elasticsearch. I've got the genres over here as well. Uh, so essentially, that's how you do um, the mapping, uh, right, with relationships and all that stuff. Now, the next thing is how to actually index uh, all this data. Uh, so let me show you here. So I'm actually got something running over here. Um, it can take a while if you have a lot of records. So let me just clear the screen over here. I'm going to just go from start Rails console again. And essentially what you want to do is first you want to create the index if you haven't already. So to do that, you do movie.elasticsearch. Uh, create index and then force true. Normally, uh, if you don't use force true, it will not try to create an index if you already have the index. But then if you update your mappings, you need to use force true in order for it to update the structure of the index as well. Uh, so I always normally use force true. Now, if I do this, uh, it's going to delete all of my, uh, you know, what I have here. Uh, so there you go. It's all gone. And to get the data back into um, the index, all I have to do is movie.import. Uh, so once I hit import, it's going to run through my database and essentially import everything back into Elasticsearch. So if I do a refresh over here, there you go. So it's now popping back into the document, into the document store. All right. So that about wraps it up for this episode. I hope you guys learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps us out. Um, and uh, let us know what you think. And, you know, we really appreciate your feedback. And, uh, yeah, have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.